Hi, my name is Sander Recht, and I'm back with another Fuse Day video. This one is an update to last week's video. It has been watched for over 500 times already and I'm really grateful for that. But YouTube analytics told me that on average most people didn't watch it until the end and that is where the good stuff was. My new 3 point average macro for putting stuff into 3D in an easy way. The good news is if you missed that video and the macro, that's not a problem because it's already obsolete. Today I'm releasing a new version of the same plugin, but it's even better. That's right, I've managed to improve it in just one week. So please like, subscribe and click the bell icon to be informed of new videos and then I'll show you the new one right now. This new version I'm releasing today supports alignments as well. And this makes it so much better and more useful. You should definitely use this version instead of the previous one. The way you use it is still the same. You drag and drop three locators or other shapes into the drag and drop fields of my 3 point average macro. This will put the position of whatever you're trying to transform in the average position of these three locators, but there is now this align checkbox which is on by default. So if I want to put this fork into the fork in the road, I can select three points in the vicinity of the fork, copy paste them into the point 1, point 2 and point 3 locator and the fork will position itself accordingly. At first glance this looks pretty good. But it can be even better if you align it to the plane that we just defined. So I click the align to plane button and everything goes wrong. At least it seems to go wrong. But sometimes depending on the point you select and the object you're transforming, you need to adjust the rotation of the object to compensate for misalignments. These are almost always multiples of 90 degrees. So let's check it out. If I change this to minus 90, look at that. The fork is back in its intended position and it even sticks better to the road than it did before. And because the fork is now aligned to the plane, you can also rotate it around this axis like this to position it. And what's even more fun, the three point average alignment works in local space. So if I move the fork in its local axis, it moves across the plane we just defined. But what if I want to put a slope on the slope? And this is where the three point average alignment really shines. So I put the slope into the three point average and I want to put it right about here. So I select three new points that are on this angled surface. And of course the text jumps to the right position. So I use the alignment correction and it sits there right in the grass the way it's supposed to. But since it's aligned to the local space of the defined plane, we can also adjust the way it's sitting on the grass. So let's change that. I can put it upright like this, or I can even put it like this, and it will stick to the angle as well. So like I said, this is a definite improvement over the previous version. So get this one and use it a lot because it's so much fun to use. Just like in this example. I've used two three-point average macros to put the text on the left roof and on the right roof. And just like I said before, you can use the local transforms to move them over the aligned surfaces. I will put this updated macro on my coffee page. I will open the Gumroad page and I will post it to www.stakeunderwater.com in the WeSuck Less forum so you can download it from there. And I will submit it to Reactor and hopefully it will be available there soon as well. So that's it for me for today. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you all next Tuesday. And let's keep that fuse burning.